Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Friday, June 27th, 2014. Here's a quick look what's coming up. Tonight, an oath-keeping sheriff fights for your First Amendment rights. Then, tech trendy ISIS tweets their five-year terror plan. And the police state comes to a virtually crime-free community. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. You're gonna learn to submit! And the cops just drink fluoride water. Oh, they take their kids to shoot them up with mercury and the kids become autistic, the cops don't care. The Saudi and CIA-supported terror army ISIS, who is trained by the U.S. military, has supposedly posted their five-year expansion plan on Twitter. The map shows the Al-Qaeda spinoff organization occupying the entire Middle East, including Israel, plus the Arabian Peninsula, North Africa, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Indonesia, and India. Wow, uh, those guys plan on wreaking a lot of havoc down the road, lots of raping and pillaging the next five years, lots of ground to cover with less than 40,000 jihadists. Now, there's no doubt that ISIS will probably never leave Iraq or even leave Syria for that matter, but I think it's safe to say that occupying the entire Middle East, now that's, that's a bit of a stretch, all right? But this is how the propaganda machine works. This is classic fear-mongering. And their intent is to keep ISIS in the headlines. This is their new boogeyman, by the way. And they are amping up the war propaganda to feed the war on terror beast. And of course, this is done through social media and stories fabricated or even sensationalized by the establishment media. Now, the group has even launched an Arabic language Twitter app called the Dawn of Glad Tidings. So I guess the terrorists are now technologically savvy as well. And as far as the ISIS five-year war plan, like I said, occupying the entire Middle East, I mean, it's not going to happen. But it does look scary on TV. And no doubt they're going to cause all kinds of trouble in Iraq. After all, Iraq was engineered to be a failed state to begin with. Since the U.S. took it over beginning in 2003 during the Iraq war, or the invasion of Iraq, or you can even go further back in time to when the establishment installed their own ruthless dictator and put Saddam Hussein in charge. But I digress. Iraq is currently a failed state with an ineffective and corrupt military that is controlled by the U.S. military. It's a black hole and unlimited cash cow for the military industrial complex. Exploited by contractors and preferred clients of the Pentagon, you know, Dick Cheney's Halliburton is a good example. And don't forget that Iraq is also a strategic place on the grand chessboard. And the U.S. military will always be in control of that region, even when they pretend like they're not. So don't believe the hype. The ISIS map on Twitter is a joke. I mean, this is just more propaganda that's created by the CIA, the United States, and NATO. Picture it as a prop in the, the ongoing effort to expand what looks like the never-ending war on terror. Now, there is a very interesting article that is posted on Infowars.com right now by William Engdahl, ISIS in Iraq, a CIA-NATO dirty war op. And it goes into the creation of ISIS, how they were trained by the CIA and U.S. Special Forces at a secret camp in Jordan in 2012. And it also goes into detail how former U.S. Department official Andrew Doran, he said that some of the ISIS warriors are now in possession of U.S. passports. Let that sink in for a minute. You know, the war on terror was manufactured for the expansion of the U.S. military industrial complex and American imperialism on a global scale. But it was also intended to take away our civil liberties here at home. Hence the, the Patriot Act, the NDAA, and militarized police on our streets. And this is all in the, the aftermath of 9-11. But 
to get an idea of just how serious law enforcement officials take these terror threats and use terrorism as an excuse to become an occupying force in our own backyards, just look how they are reacting right now to the American people's outrage over the recent incident where SWAT police raided a home in Georgia. They threw in a flash grenade and almost killed a two-year-old child. I mean, the kid is fighting right now for his life in a, in a Georgia hospital. The grenade blew a hole in his chest, but the county's DA office, this is what the DA's office said. They said, there's nothing to investigate. Bad things happen. That's just the world we live in. And that's a quote. By the way, they, they didn't find any drugs in the home. And to add even more insult to injury, a company that provides video training programs for law enforcement is suggesting that nobody will complain about militarized police in America or examples of police brutality when ISIS comes a calling. They actually posted that remark on their Facebook page. And this was in response to the two-year-old child who's clinging to life right now after his chest was blown apart by police. So ISIS is the new boogeyman, another Frankenstein created by the CIA and trained by our US military to expand the war on terror and further take away our civil liberties here at home. Get it? Yeah, it looks like you're following along just fine. Hey, we're gonna take a quick break. InfoWars Nightly News will return right after this. Stick around. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Residents of a virtually crime-free county in Florida are expressing outrage over a decision by the Walton County Sheriff's Office to purchase an MRAP armored vehicle normally used for combat in Iraq and Afghanistan. Now, remember the, the 1988 movie, The Truman Show, starring Jim Carrey? That was filmed in Walton County. I guess Hollywood producers chose the location because the town is so peaceful, it actually appears to be fake. <laughs> and the local residents say that their town is so crime-free that you can leave your doors unlocked. Needless to say, they're not very happy with the sheriff's decision to purchase a mine-resistant, ambush-protected, armored vehicle. They got a really good price on it, by the way, but... What's happening is the Department of Defense has been donating armored vehicles 
to the Department of Homeland Security, who in turn has been selling them to police departments all across the country as domestic law enforcement is becoming increasingly militarized, even in virtually crime-free areas like Walton County, Florida. And I like what one of the county sheriff's officers posted on his Facebook page in response to angry residents. County Sheriff Mike Atkinson wrote, this is not the federal government intruding on your civil liberties. Oh, really, Mike? Come on, man. You're, you're in Walton County, Florida. You're not in Iraq or Afghanistan, although that vehicle does create the, the combat mindset, I guess you can say. So I'm sure you'll get to use it eventually. And don't forget that it was a former Marine Corps colonel, guy's name is Peter Martino, who was stationed in Fallujah, and he actually trained Iraqi soldiers. He warned us last year that the DHS is working with law enforcement to build a domestic army because the federal government is afraid of its own citizens. Now, Martino's the guy who spoke out at a city council meeting in New Hampshire against his town's decision to purchase one of those Bearcat armored vehicles. What's happening here is we're building a domestic military because it's unlawful or unconstitutional to use American troops on American soil. So what we're doing is we're building a military. My best friend, who's a SWAT officer in Nashua, who came to Iraq with me to train the Iraqi police, sent me an email with a picture of him in the media on the streets of Watertown, Mass, wearing the exact same combat gear that we had in Iraq, only it was a different color. Yeah, that guy is a former Marine Corps colonel who found out the city's police chief actually wrote the DHS. And he was requesting the armored vehicle to deal with the threat posed by, and get this, libertarians, sovereign citizens, and Occupy Wall Street protesters. How's that for an intrusion on our civil liberties? You like that? And what about that town in Wisconsin? where last month the police had to calm down residents and reassure them that the military trucks they just got from the U.S. Army won't be used to fire on the locals. I mean, the people out there are freaking out. And those armored vehicles are definitely intimidating. Also last month, it was Indiana Police Sergeant Dan Downing who admitted that the militarization of domestic law enforcement is partly to deal with returning veterans who are now seen as homegrown terrorists. They are a homegrown threat. So the militarization of domestic police departments is in full swing from the small suburban towns to the big populated cities. And they are being told that we are the threat, we're the enemy, and they are armed for war. And did you know that there is now an average of over 100 SWAT team raids every single day in this country? That's right, mostly in residential neighborhoods. And just think, all this time we've been worried about U.S. military marching on the streets of America and the end of Posse Comitatus, yet look at us now. I mean, here we are with an occupying force, a militarized police army nationwide, right in our very own backyards, wow. I tell you what, Alex Jones was right when he said the police state isn't coming, it's already here. Alex Jones here to break down some exciting developments in the area of research concerning supplemental iodine. It's nothing less than phenomenal. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. And I used some of the mainline iodine supplements and they upset my stomach and I had some issues with it. Until I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group, who I was already interviewing as an expert on my radio show, and I began taking the product before he actually rolled it out. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth, crystals that are incredibly powerful that no one else has as a source for their iodine from between seven and 12,000 feet, literally drilled out of the ground. You put it on a hot plate, 